So it's been a few weeks since I got back from Korea and I thought to myself it was about time that I made a video on the pickups that I made. So this is that video. There are a lot of places that you could buy from and they varied widely depending on what you were looking for. So there were underground malls which were relatively cheap to well established chains such as Ayland which was more pricey. Let's just get into it. I bought a few of these heavyweight textured t-shirts because number one they're basic, number two they felt pretty good and number three I thought that you can't really go wrong with them especially because I couldn't try them on. So this is a common theme through a lot of the things I bought. I couldn't try them on because of COVID restrictions I think in South Korea. So I bought a few of the things without actually knowing how they would fit me. Yep, they are a risky purchase but I thought basic t-shirts couldn't really go wrong with that. And actually I haven't tried these t-shirts until I start making this video. So yeah, overall I think that they fit pretty well. So as you can see, I picked up four t-shirts, three short sleeve and one long sleeve. If I remember correctly, they're around $10 each, which is pretty much a bargain for heavyweight t-shirts. So I've been wanting a pair of grey joggers and I found these straight leg grey joggers for very cheap and I bought them without being able to try them on. And honestly, I think they're not that bad. I think that they're a bit tight on my thighs, but they are light and very comfy to wear. So they ended up being my $10 lounging pants. So to continue the theme of not being able to try things on, I picked up this grey distressed knitted sweater. I did expect it to be big but I didn't expect it to be this oversized. It was actually the first piece that I bought in Korea. I thought that the distressing looked really cool so that's why I picked it up. I bought it from a store called Space Morris in Hongdae. I think it costed around $30 so yeah it was pretty good for the details that I had. Another pickup that I got from Space Morris is this oversized button t-shirt in a deep turquoise that I really really like. I love the overall feel and fit of this shirt. It has to be one of my favourite pickups. I really regret that I didn't pick up another one in a different colour. And they were very cheap coming around $15 each if I remember correctly. So right next door to Space Morris was another men's store called M Playground and they offered a huge variety of menswear. Luckily for me they allowed you to try things on and I found these green cargo trousers which are so good. They feel so comfortable and I love the fit of them. It was literally the last pair in the store so I was really lucky to get them. They also offered a grey version but those were all sold out. I'm super happy with this purchase and I think it costed around $45. So really cheap for what I'm getting. Not gonna lie, I never go for this sort of style and I don't know why I purchased it but it was lingering in my mind for the whole trip and I must have passed it four times before I bit the bullet and bought it. I don't know how to really describe it but it's like a crochet long sleeve shirt with a striped pattern. Because no store let me try this shirt on I didn't know how it would fit and when I did try it on I wasn't really convinced. But at that point it was too late and I just wore it anyway. But it turned out that I really do like the shirt because of how breathable it is since it has holes all over it and yeah I, I thought it was a bad purchase at first but you know I, I kind of like it now. So this costed around $20. So the only island I shopped at was at the Coex Mall and to be honest, there were so many options that it was a bit overwhelming. There were so many brands, so many pieces and so many things to look at that I didn't know what I wanted and what I didn't want at that point. Luckily they did let you try things on so that helped me narrow down a few things that I wanted but it was so hot that I didn't want to try on everything so yeah I did end up getting just one piece from Ireland. It's this oversized long sleeve striped shirt. And I really like the fit and feel of it, it feels super good quality. Unfortunately though, because it is the summer, I'll have to wait until it gets a bit colder to actually wear it. And it did cost around $60, so it was a bit expensive, but I really do like it. And for my final pickup in Seoul, it's this Carhartt Rider Jacket in Stonewash Blue. As you guys know by now, I do like Carhartt and I like Detroit jackets even more. But the reason why I decided to buy the Rider Jacket over the Detroit Jacket is because the Rider Jacket is more reminiscent of the old Carhartt Detroit jackets. More reminiscent than the modern work in progress ones. This is because the Rider Jacket has a more cropped hem and a balloon fit. I sort of regret not picking up the black one as well, but you know, that's fine. And the reason why I waited to go through South Korea to get this jacket is because I've been on the fence about buying it and in Korea I got you know the benefit of a tax refund and the exchange rate so overall I was very very happy with the purchase. And lastly I did pick up a few socks from Daiso which I do regret not picking up more of since they are dirt cheap and they felt pretty good quality but you know they're just socks so nothing really interesting to say. So that is pretty much all of the clothing items I bought and sold. What did you think? Did anything stand out? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video please do me a favour and like the video since it does help the channel to grow and if you want more content similar to this then please subscribe to the channel. And as always thank you very much for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Peace.